What makes us feel emotion? How do thoughts and ideas emerge? How our brain processes information and emotions influences every detail of our human experience. Frontier science and medicine are competing to unlock its secrets. But how do we make sense of all this complex information? The feeling brain is a program that makes the mind and brain sciences understandable and entertaining for everyone. Everything we know about the world comes to us essentially through these little holes in our head. And that's all we get to know about the world because our poor brain is sitting in a very dark, very wet, very enclosed place called our skull. Leading consciousness scientists, medical professionals, and media experts come together for the first time, creating a visually dynamic series for university networks and broadcast. Because science education should be cutting edge. How do cells expressing a particular receptor, let's say for banana, all find their way back to the brain to plug into the brain in the right place so that when you smell a banana, it smells like a banana and not a rose. This nucleus accumbens and VTA circuit is what we call the reward circuit. This is what's hijacked by drugs of abuse. This is what's active when you eat a piece of chocolate or have sex. This is a sagittal section and it's showing the brain's reward circuit and it contains lots of different types of brain structures, lots of different types of nerve cells. So we focus on the dopaminergic neurons that come from the ventral tegmental area and impinge upon the nucleus accumbens. Provocative roundtable discussions. The brain is everywhere. So much so that I say, where is the context? Can we possibly rephrase that as saying that there's the physical pain followed by the consciousness of pain? Are we mind reading or are we brain reading? And is there a difference? We put electrodes next to a cylinder brain. We told them, you hear now a sound that reflects the activity of this particular neuron. There is a pattern of activity. And if you just look at single locations, you lose the statistics of the pattern. All this stuff about um, the brain and synapses and neurological function, how much of it is thought and how much of it is emotion? I think one of the most fundamental misconceptions is that part of the brain is emotional and needs to be overcome by the rational, civilized parts of our brain. And in fact, that thought and emotion, I think, are inseparable. Relevant to our daily lives. How can I use that which you are finding? How can it make me a better parent, a better teacher, a better therapist? Oxytocin is the love hormone. It's the parenting hormone. And so you get these... It's also the orgasm hormone. The orgasm hormone. These emotional systems are often really ignited at the time of puberty. So obviously we have emotions before, but in terms of, of sexual motivations, in terms of, of seeking thrills, in terms of the dopamine systems, all you, these are really ramped up. You don't need to be a scientist up. to know that, by the way. Fun to watch. If I started speaking to you like this, let's demonstrate. Very oh. close. You, what happened just now is that... Very <laughs> scary. <laughs> that you immediately had... The, your amygdala immediately came to life and started firing Certainly because, because there's some kind of distance that is too much. The feeling brain, exploring the neural basis of emotion. Frontier science for the digital revolution, connecting important communities across diverse fields. We've already produced tangible assets, all filmed on HD broadcast multi-camera systems. These assets include four 30-minute tutorials and six 30-minute roundtable episodes. It's all about helping people and helping families. And, and I think we, we can't have any more excuses in, in terms of we need to get to that phase three to actually make an impact on people's lives. And also what is happening now, I think, is a big part of this. This digital revolution and the changes is what we're doing at this very moment in terms of getting information out to wide audiences. And using the power of information exchange around the world is going to be one of the most essential parts of moving forward. Help us produce The Feeling Brain.